I want to introduce our first presenter today. It's Lisa Levine, and I'm going to pull up a little information. Uh, Lisa is now in Virginia, but I think most of us think of her as Chicago Lisa. Um, that's where she was for a long time and has been collecting Pez since 1993, which, Lisa, that makes you seem older. I mean, that was 30 years ago. You know that? Can you believe people born in the 90s are in their 30s? It's crazy. Crazy to think about. So I'm going to have Morgan highlight Lisa. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to turn it over to Lisa as soon as that happens. Okay. And Lisa needs to unmute. Lisa, you'll need to unmute. Nope, still unmute. muted, Lisa. Just need you hit the hit the unmute. <laughs> Uh, I can ask to scroll through. Yeah, hit that. There, now you can you hear me? Yes. Yes. So okay, everybody, right. I swear here's, I Lisa. Yeah. here's Lisa. Here's Lisa. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Morgan and Landon, for doing this and for giving me the opportunity to share my Pez collection, which, which I love. And Landon, thanks for making me feel really, really old with that intro. So, yay. <laughs> That's um, my best skill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you well, well, you succeeded. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm doing this on my iPhone, I think, obviously. So I'm going to turn the camera around, but I'll explain a little bit um, as I'm kind of walking around my my room. Oops, nobody needs to see that. Uh, so as Landon mentioned, I, I started in 1993 and then really started collecting in earnest um, a few years later in 96 because I moved to Cleveland. And so that was how I came to discover the uh, Cleveland Pez Convention, Pezzamania, which Morgan and Landon are now our, our hosts of. And was uh, actually, so the first time that I went to that was when Jill Cohn had, was still running it. So it was way back then. So you talk about feeling old. But as, as Landon mentioned, um, my family just recently moved to, to Virginia, to Williamsburg, Virginia from Chicago. Uh, where we had moved after living in Cleveland. And so my Pez room is actually smaller than it used to be when we lived in Chicago. And given that we moved a few months ago, it's still a, a work in progress. So those are the caveats that, that I'll provide. But with that, um, I would be uh, very happy to show everybody my Pez. So still trying to figure out a lot of layout because it's not only you know my Pez room, it's also my office and it's where all my junk winds up. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out the best layout. But what I've uh, recently arrived at is trying to group you know some things together. So I'm sure this probably looks a lot like what a lot of other people's Pez rooms look like with respect to lots of mascots, lots of these limited editions. Um, that I've got here in the uh, the shippers that places like Michael's and Joann's are, are so generous about giving us. Uh, trying to use a lot of pegboard. I've got on the pegboard my all my sweet and snacks dispensers, which you know, I'm, I'm thrilled and I think very, very lucky to have. I've got the Big E's below that. And I'm starting to put uh, convention dispensers on the next uh, couple of rows, but I still have a lot of those actually in um, in storage. So that that is still a work in progress. Uh, I'm gonna skip this for the moment and just kind of do a little bit of a tour around the room. Uh, some of the couple of posters, uh, this one from one of the early Pezzamanias uh, from 2000, from Pezzamania 2000. And a uh, Japanese gathering that I unfortunately didn't attend but was able to uh, to get the poster from. A couple of um, my favorite dispensers that I learned the hard way to put in shadow boxes in order to protect them. Uh, the um, African-American or the Black Santa on the uh, on card, a uh, Colgate skull. And uh, this was actually how I learned the hard way to do this. In uh, 2004, when I got married, I had had some Pez dispensers made for our wedding. And uh, it was uh, Keith Avery who had done the graphics. I think some of some folks on here probably remember him and probably have some of his pieces in their collection. Really, really talented artist. 
who did the, um, he designed the dispensers for me and then he made a couple special ones for me on uh, card. So they looked mint on card. And then Jamie Jones up in Canada had done the candy packs for me. And uh, I thought they, they came together really, really, really well. But like I said, I learned the hard way to put special things away because my child who was a toddler at the time um, decided that he wanted some Pez candy and rather than going for a, a current, of course, managed to find one of the uh, few that were mint on card and, um, you know, wound up, uh, hope, I hope he enjoyed that candy. So that's, uh, I'm still a little bummed out about that, a lot bummed out, but such is life. Um, I've got a couple of uh, Australian, uh, the of the displays, you know, we've got the, uh, the US ones that, you know, typically look like those. And this is what the Australian ones typically look like. They have two sizes, kind of this uh, smaller, more narrow one and a wider one. And uh, much to my husband's chagrin, when the last couple of trips we've made to Australia, I've managed to uh, pick up a couple of these and we bring them home with us, which is um, you know, a bit of a challenge. And uh, But luckily our marriage has survived it so far. But they've got really cool displays. I, I really love the displays. They've got cool headers. I like the header cards that they have. Uh, a couple of different ones. Um, and on on these, well, I'm still trying to figure out, like I said, trying to um, take things out of boxes still. I think eventually what's going to go here are different convention dispensers that were uh, fan-made ones, you know, before Pez started making them. And uh, some pins, these are all uh, some Pezzamania pins. So, you know, that's what's going to wind up um, on those. Up here, uh, because of lack of room anywhere else, I've got my giants. Um, I've tried to stay away from collecting giants, but, uh, you know, it's kind of impossible for me to stay away from, you know, everything that says Pez. So I'm trying to limit at least what I do with giants. So some of them I think are, are kind of cool. Um, but I really do just because of lack of space, try not to go down that road too much. Another, uh, another Australian Pez display. Um, I'm going to skip over what's in my Ikea cabinets because I'm going to come back to those. But then a uh, couple of, I've got two of these, uh, Toys R Us displays, the metal racks, which are really, really cool when really lucky to have those. And also managed to get one of the uh, white racks with those uh, the header on it there. Um, my trucks are displayed over here. All the advertising trucks, I should say, advertising, and then blank ones, and um, you know some of the Joe's trucks and the Pez trucks are are over here for me. And then if we move over here, we've got the other uh, Toys R Us rack. And this one I had more room over here, so you can see there's the. Uh, the kind of appendages that go on it, the little side holders there. Uh, this is, hopefully you guys can see this, my um, Fat Eared Bunny collection. Um, Fat Eared Bunny is one of my absolute favorite dispensers. And so that's why for me, it merited its own, uh, its, its own display case. And then a whole bunch of the uh, kind of more common ones that uh, just didn't have room to display them all. Uh, another Ikea cabinet that, again, I'll come back to because what, what I've done in putting my collection together is things that I want to make sure little hands don't get on are the things that are living in the Ikea cabinets. And then, as you can probably see, I've got a lot of other stuff just out on display. And so I'll just kind of walk through some of that. Um, I'm missing a lot of the minis, but they've gotten so crazy expensive. So I'm um, just gonna kind of wait and see what happens with respect to minis because I, I'd love them, I'd love to get more, but uh, they're a little bit cost prohibitive. And uh, despite what my husband thinks, I really do try to watch how much I'm spending on, on Pez. Usually I just watch it go up, but you know, such is life. I'm uh, trying to figure out better ways to display uh, the double packs, you know, these twin packs, but I've got a couple of shelves of those here. Uh, a lot of tins on the bottom, some more, some Pez tins over here. Um, some of them US, some European. This one was kind of cool. This was a few years ago. Funko and Disney had put together a, a like a collector's box. And so it was a Christmas collector's box that 
probably a lot of people have in their collections too, but they've got some of the pop pez in those and uh, just some kind of, I was going to say plain Disney items, but if you're a Disney collector, there's probably no such thing. But anyway, you can't tell what's in it, but I just keep it there in the box. Uh, these are Australian trucks that from one of our trips to Australia, um, I'd managed to find a whole bunch of those uh, the day after Christmas. And again, much to um, my husband's chagrin, took back uh, dozens and dozens of those. And uh, I think I'm down to only three of them now. But they're really cool. Nice little trucks. The wheels spin on them. Inside is a pack of candy and a, a Santa with loop. And they've got these really, really cool graphics on them. And then some other tins back there. Some of the... Um, my holiday dispensers uh, up here, and just various other dispensers that I'm trying to group in a way that makes sense. But, you know, that's, uh, I guess, uh, making sense is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, a empty Pez water bottle from a, a trip to uh, the Pez Visitor Center, which um, what I'm planning on doing is filling it up with candy, and then I'll just keep that on display. But I thought that would look kind of cool. Uh, some of the dispensers um, that I keep on cards and usually it's if if the dispenser is like kind of special in some reason or it's got like some kind of cool graphic, then I try to keep it on card, which again takes up more room. But, you know, some of the European ones in particular, I keep on cards like these, uh, the soccer ones I thought were really cool and they've got, you know, they're a little bit Spartan, but they've got, you know, a cool graphic. For each of the teams, uh, you can see my my bendies over there. Uh, the Pez, the European train, got back here. Uh, my Larry Mason made a display for my um, for the pistols for the Pez shooters there, which is uh, super cool. I love being able to display it like that. This is a piece that I've always been really proud of well not always just ever since I got it but it's one of the uh, dies which I don't know if you can kind of see it or not but it's super heavy and uh, I feel like I was really fortunate to get one of these and it's um it's one of the I don't know to me it's one of the most exciting things in my collection because it's a little bit unusual I mean certainly I've seen a bunch of others of those and you see them for sale but I just think it's a really neat piece of memorabilia to have a uh, bunch of stuff in the corner here that I'm trying to display a little bit better, including the super cool candy dish, which uh, the candy display, which I absolutely love. A lot of his uh, cars back there and the uh, trucks that were at Walmart. Some of the earlier, you know, the NASCAR ones, the uh, Glaxon, you know, from GNC that, you know, that was recently the um, the source of a lot of searching. Uh, the little die cast cars I've got back here, the peace van I've got back there, which I remember getting at Pesamania one of the early years that I was there. Just some other miscellaneous things like, um, you know, Pez, uh, Pez diary with uh, a little lock on it. Some of the uh, Pez tins from the visitor center are back there. Um, some, an empty uh, Pez candy box, but you know, again, I think the box is really cool. I'd like to put that together at some point and display that. Uh, another one of this is one of the die cast trucks that for some reason I've just kept it in the box and I really need to uh, make an effort to take that out. Pez hat, some really cool Pez stationery that a friend of mine had found and, and given it to me years and years and years ago. Uh, this one was, is a uh, Japanese item that when my husband was there managed to find for me, you know, just a couple other miscellaneous, you know, some puzzles, various things. And then we move over to these, I, these uh, are Ikea bookshelves as well. And so what I've done up here is, you know, some of the more, some of the cards again, go on display up on the top and maybe we'll start up there and then kind of quickly go through some of the things on shelves here. And uh, Landon, let me know if I'm running out of time or anything, but hopefully we're doing okay. Definitely. So some of the- yeah, we, uh, Lisa, we have about five minutes, so you're, you're oh, doing all okay. right. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. So maybe I'll, I'll move a little faster because I do want to get to the display cabinets. So a lot of the sports stuff here, uh, the emojis, um, these are some of my favorites because, you know, as you probably saw, I love the fattier bunnies. And so I was lucky enough to get some of them on card. So that those are- some of the things that I, I really treasure in my collection. Um, the turtles, 
the uh, some of the body parts and the I only have one Russian body part. I'm hoping to certainly add to that. But again, something kind of kind of cool. Some of the early Pezzamania puzzles from what was this one from 1999. And this one was from 2001. This was actually also, I think, my favorite T-shirt was uh, from the Jill Cohen era was this one. That was a really neat shirt that she did. Uh, some of the hearts, again, I had given up a long time ago on trying to get all the different hearts. And some some Disney, some of it's on the uh, in the other displays. Uh, things like eyeglasses, more of the Japanese stuff. The old body parts sticker that... Uh, this used to be so common that it used to be just given away at conventions. And that was, gosh, I don't know, probably 20 years ago. I mean, maybe people are still giving it away, but I just remember you used to be able to find these so frequently at the Pez conventions. Um, a um, cardboard folder from, um, from Pezco, which uh, was super cool and I love having that. These are all Australian box sets. Well, not the uh, fantasy Virginia Tech football player. We'll move him over there. But all, in, all on this shelf are the uh, Australian um, box sets that I've got. They've got really cool graphics, really neat sets, like just some really cool stuff down there. And like I said, I'm just I'm lucky enough to be able to go there and to have family there looking out for that stuff for me. Uh, some of the bobbleheads. Uh, some of, you know, just trying to group things in a way that kind of made a little bit of sense to me. Um, maybe not to anyone else. This is another one of my favorites is the Rico, Peter Pez, um, from movies that I can't tell you the names of. But, you know, if it's Pez, I've got to have it, of course. Pez postcards, more box sets, U.S., uh, various trucks, etc. Uh, this was something that um, I'm very fond of, which is... One of the bags, you know, the uh, paper bags. I think these were from White Castle, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's something I really need to put in a, a double-sided frame so that you can kind of see what that actually is. Oh, and these are two other things that I'm, I'm very proud to have in my collection, which is a full and still shrink-wrapped box of the original E.T. dispensers and Bob the Builder. So both of those are just our full boxes and still in the shrink wrap which I think is kind of neat. And then moving over here, just kind of some knickknacks, you know, the change plate, some European tins, uh, candy, some of the various candy. There's a lot of fan-made candy, some not fan-made candy, but some kind of kind of neat stuff, I think. And then trying to kind of wrap things up. But these are the displays that I have where I put you know, more of the, um, like generally the vintage or things that like, I don't want little kids getting their hands on. Not that we've got a lot of little kids coming in here, but you know, just various stuff that I'd be really, really bummed if they got broken or destroyed. The pins, um, I think the pins are super cool. I really like those. Some of the candy boxes. Uh, this one is a more recent acquisition. One of the original candy boxes, which I absolutely love having that in my collection. Uh, just some various other things. The uh, the perpetual clocks from Japan. Um, these, the uh, the throwing stars, I think are, are super cool. Little knickknack to have. Uh, some of my favorite dispensers, like I try to remember why they're special and why I've got them. So a couple of them are from Mexico. I've got another one that's uh, from Mexico. The uh, Peace Pipe, Pez Ring, um, and then, oops, sorry, and then let's go back to the last IKEA display. And up here is the uh, Proen dispenser, which is in the bag still, and I'm sure I'll never open it, so I'll never actually have that out on display. I think this was a Canadian candy box, which is empty. Oh, sorry, I guess I should lift that up. But um, again, just a, a neat display. These are all fan-made. These are all fantasy dispensers up here, but um, they all, I don't know, I've got a special fondness for each and every one of those, including some that were from, uh, from this convention, I think from the first or second iteration of it. And this may have been something that Keith did also, Keith Avery, because I remember he used to do a lot of fantasy trucks, I think until he got a cease and desist. 
uh, just some other of my favorite dispensers that, um, like I said, that I keep over here to make sure that small children and um, curious adults can't necessarily get to them. Uh, Pez Pals are over here, stickers, yo-yos, and then some kind of uh, knickknacks down here, like the um, the Pez International knife, you know, the pocket knife. Some keychains. This one I understand was from France, and so that one I think is uh, is kind of cool. And uh, that's basically it. So hopefully, hopefully I'm finishing on time. You did very well. Uh, we have a couple questions for you though. Oh sure. Uh, could you show off the um, the the Australian box sets again? Maybe oh, pull yeah. one out. Let them see what it looks like. Yeah. Does anyone have a preference for? Uh... What they'd like to uh, see, because otherwise show the Batman, I'll just... show the Batman one. The ah, I know okay. Joe, 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 and the Hicks are here. Okay. They love a, they love a good Batman. All right, well, I'm happy to do that. Let me get uh, <laughs> these out here. Here is the Batman box set. Oh, Oops. that's so cool. They that's just they. Set. I mean, it's the the same dispensers, but it's just yeah, the way yeah. that they package them yeah. is yeah. just you know it's super cool the way they do the stuff. So. Actually, this one, my husband had brought me back right after I'd met him. He had a trip to Australia and he brought that back for me. It was like right after we started dating. So I knew he was the right person for me. <laughs> so That's anyway, so, awesome. so you can see yeah. you know, what some of these things look like. Yeah, there are several so, of those I had never seen. Yo, yeah, yeah, really there, cool. there's and and I know I don't. Unfortunately, I don't have them all. So I wish I had more, but I'm pleased yeah. with, with what I've got. Those are really cool. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, Were there well, any other questions that I could answer, or was that? Uh... Um, can you reshow the throwing stars? Oh yeah, the little suction cup guys. Yeah, absolutely. I think those are super cool. You see them come up for sale every once in a while. Yeah. So I've got them all stacked one on top of the other here, but there's four, four different, and I, th I think there's only four different ones. But on one side. It's just the, uh, actually, what does it even say back there? Patent. Uh, oh, patent. Yeah, it's got the yeah. patent. And on the front, it says Pez. And honestly, I've never even tried them out to see if they really do stick. But the theory is you throw them against a wall and they're supposed right. to like walk down these uh, wall walkers. I have my doubts that that would actually work, but they yeah. look cool. <laughs> well, thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much for showing my, us everything my pleasure it's always nice to be able to show off my collection to people who don't think i'm nuts you have so, lots of room hopefully in the middle. that's this audience <laughs> <laughs> lots of room in the middle you can still do stuff oh yeah well yeah i cleaned up actually for this today so yeah <laughs> all right well thanks again lisa thanks so much thank uh, you thanks for everybody watching okay